What's going on everybody? This is Fritz and this is a really cool tutorial. This is how to change the color of the plus 500 or 600 or whatever. As you can see right here we have it in spacey. A uh, really really cool thing and it just affects this plus 600 and it's all like preset. It's really cool. Not preset but it, you don't have to like keyframe anything. And uh, there's lots of things you can do with it like this having to be space. You can make it just like a solid different color. Um, if you look here, I made a couple examples. Here's one where it's blue. This kind of makes it like multicolored, but I really like when you put like a picture behind it. It's really neat. So let's just jump right into it. Um, we're going to delete this and this, and we're just going to work with our clip. So we're going to get rid of all this stuff, all this, all this example stuff we don't need. Oh, shoot. We need that. Okay, so here we go. We got our clip here, just a plain old clip. We're going to make it into the composition here, and uh, what we're going to do is rename this one Main Comp. So this will be our main composition where everything else is, and because uh, we don't want to do all of it, like all like the, you'll see there's layers involved, we don't want to do it all in our Main Comp with all the other clips. Uh, we're going to make a new one. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the clip itself and go to Pre-Compose and just click OK and double click on that so what we just did is here's our main comp where imagine there being like 50 other clips here and if you just double click here it brings you to this thing where we're going to do all the work and i'll show you why i did that in a second so what we're going to do is we're going to go to a very important frame and this is where the plus 600 in this case is the biggest so that would be right here perfect okay so what we do is first thing we're going to click on the layer hit the pen tool and we're just gonna mask an area around the plus 600 so just like that and now what we're gonna do is duplicate the layer so we're gonna hit control C and then control V and it duplicates we're gonna open the top layer by clicking this triangle open up mask and we're gonna click on inverted and uh, what I like to do is I like to click up here and I'm gonna go to these points and drag them in a little bit so that way um, there's no like border like if otherwise it'd be like a little like red or whatever your background is kind of surrounding it so make sure you do that just kind of shrink the inverted layer a little bit and yeah so now we're gonna go to the bottom layer which would be right here where the plus 600 is and we're gonna look up color key so depending on where you're from I know color spelt differently so I'm gonna do it whatever way this is and I'm gonna click on it drag it on the bottom clip and you can see here we've got this effect that's pretty neat um, what we're gonna do is however we're gonna click on this little um, turkey baster thing I don't know what to call it and we're gonna go zoom in on the plus 600 so we'll just eh, read right about there is good and and uh, just make sure we got it so the whole thing is pretty much gone there's a little outline but we can make do with it so there you go now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a solid so we're gonna right click down here hit new hit solid and we're going to make it whatever color you want. We can change that later and put it on the bottom. And boom, there you go. It's already looking kind of neat. So what you can do is mess with these settings just a little bit. So I'm going to drag this up, which is the matching tolerance. I'm going to drag it up a little bit so that way we don't see as much uh, yeller, <laughs> yellow. And there we go. So now let's say we want to uh, just, we're going to work off the solid now. Um, I'm going to show you the two things I did, and that is like the gradient and the change color. So first thing we're going to do is look up fill and this is a really neat one all you do is you put it on the effect and you can change it so there you go you can see whatever color you want whatever uh, floats your boat um, you can do it that way another effect you can do is just look up gradient and you'll see a four color gradient just drop that on there and then you'll see you have these like little dots everywhere just drag them near the plus 600 so see how i'm doing it like not on it but near it it adds a really cool effect to it so that kind of makes it a little bit rainbowy i guess and you can see if you did it right, it should be perfect. Um, and for the picture, all I did was I went on Google, I looked up some sort of picture, um, and I'm going to drag it down here. Put it on top of the solid object if you want. You don't even need the solid object, but I'm, I have it on for some reason. And we're just going to drag it up so it surrounds the plus 600. We're just going to mess with these a little bit make it a little bit bigger there we go and that's it that's for the picture um i like to delete it so we're gonna get rid of the first half of this picture here because we don't need to see it so we're gonna hit alt and the beginning square bracket or you can just hit Control, shift and d and then delete it physically and yeah so we don't even need this red solid if we're doing a picture and then there we go so you can see here he's up here he's spinning he's spinning boom we have an outer spacey cool looking plus 600 and then as soon as it goes away which right there we're going to get rid of it and you can fade it out which is actually what I recommend doing in case there's other things as you can see as you can see here it's kind of affecting that a little bit so we're just going to keyframe this to zero 
go to where it's at right about there and bring it to 100 so that way it fades out and you can't even tell it was there so that's it hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial uh really really cool uh credit goes to toontage he kind of showed me how to do this um thanks for showing me hope you guys all enjoyed peace